Hello, welcome to my studio. This is Francesca Lombardo. Today I will show you how to write a track with me. Um, I will uh, explain each single step. Uh, we will be recording, we'll be editing, we'll be uh, mixing. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to write and I will try to answer to all of you. Uh, I hope I can inspire some of you, I can help uh, the knowledge of some of you um, and that you have fun. So let's just begin. Uh, first, before we begin, I want to explain to you a bit what, what I will do. Um, I will be using Logic, which is my main DAW. Uh, I also use Ableton, but tonight I'm just going to be using Logic because this is what I you know, usually prefer to write on. I think Ableton is really good also and uh, maybe it's a bit more creative um, but uh, logic as it's a bit uh, for me for my way of writing is better because I like to write a lot of stuff on the keyboard or um, uh, I like to create the track um, building the track from the bottom to the top so uh, I just like to, to use Logic because I've always used it since the very beginning, so I'm, I'm very comfortable with it. Um, the way I work, I like to uh, play instruments or record uh, hardware the most because I think it's more, for me, it's nice to touch things. Um, and I just like the process of recording and um, it just seems more real for me. But I will also be using uh, some uh, virtual instruments and like a lot of uh, virtual plugins because obviously it's the best way to do it now that we have to do this um, this masterclass uh, for me to show you stuff. So at times I will be disappearing because I'm playing or singing or um, I don't know yet because I don't know what I will be doing. <laughs> And uh, but so don't don't worry, I'll be back. Um, so obviously uh, we ha we are doing this in two in two days. Uh, today we'll we'll be together for three hours, and uh, then three hours next week. Uh, so I mean, I'm just gonna go slowly through the process of making the track, and uh, um, the beginning might be always a bit more boring because it's the creative uh, the create creative moment and it's very personal uh so whatever i do obviously you're watching but you cannot really see what i'm what i'm putting my hands on on things so it might be a bit slow to start with but i'm gonna try and make this really quick uh i mean quicker than it would be if i was by myself um so okay let's start voila um just one second So what I'm going to do, as you can see, uh, wait. Well, yes. as you can see, uh, I've already, uh, uh, I'm using a template for my music, uh, for writing music uh, with Logic. Uh, this template um, is created um, uh, together with how the studio is plug plugged in. So like I have, uh, all my scenes are obviously connected via MIDI. Um, and uh, I'm using one port of my sound card, which is a Fireface RME, uh, one MIDI port. And through this MIDI port, all my synths uh, are connected. And uh, by um, chain, uh, some, of, some of them are slaves or uh, they're all connected to the same chain. And uh, I've uh, changed channel, uh, MIDI channel on every synth so that um, whatever is on channel 7, for instance, here, the SH101, you know, uh, if I control uh, the MIDI, this only the SH. If I put the MIDI on channel seven, only the uh, this synth will play. Okay, so I'm sure that you already know these things, but I just want to make you know be clear. But there are a couple of things that I work um, differently. So, like uh, for instance, the the TRO8, which is the first one on on this uh, um, order. Um, I like to use this the uh, to the sequencer of the drum machine instead of like maybe writing on the on the metrics window uh okay now let me see so so usually you maybe you would just write here like the kick okay so but me i i still like to use their sequencer because i think 
when you have a drum machine, it's nice to to be doing that. It's just uh, you know you can just play with the machine and and it's it's quicker and it's nicer rather than being here and or playing with the keyboard, uh, the drum machine, and it just seems like more natural. And um, and the same goes with the the Tempest, uh, the um, yeah, the Dave Smith Smith Tempest. I like to to use uh, the sequencer of um, of the drum machine, and then uh, there's another thing that I'm using that uh, is the Arturia Beat Step Pro, which is a sequencer. Uh, sometimes I will use this to control some uh, um, synthesizer, just because I think it it feels different if you are using the sequencer rather than you're just playing it. Something like the bass line is nice when it's sequenced rather than played. Uh, unless you're playing something a bit more funky or disco, but if it's something that is more like electronic and techno, it's nice to to use a sequencer. Plus, uh, the sequencer has um, a roller, a looper, so you can jam with it as well. So it's great. Um, so other things that I'm going to be using are uh, today for sure will be the Minimoog, the Voyager. Minimoog, uh, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, it just sounds wonderful. Uh, and probably the Slim Fatty uh, first and bass line or the SH-101, the Roland SH-101. I'm sorry that I cannot show you this <laughs> stuff now, but my camera is stuck. And then for sure I will be using the Prophet 6 and maybe the Virus. And uh, that's it. I think I'm going to keep it really simple. Even here, like I've taken out some of the the scenes that I knew they we are not going to use. So let's see if we can manage to use all of this. And I'm going to try and record some vocals as well because, I mean, that's what I usually do. So, But to start with, for this track that we're going to make, I want to start by recording the groove. Just make a really, really good groove. Um, so we start with the TR-08, the IRA. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I'm not controlling from the metrics window, I'm not playing the drums from the metrics window, I will just jam with the machine uh, and then with the drum machine. Then when I found the right uh, bass uh, groove uh, for this track, I will just record it straight in, in the, in the doll. So, okay, let's start. So I'm just going to use what I already have on that machine. I have some stuff. Okay, let's start from... Just listening to what there is there because I've used it lately and I don't remember. So obviously this is the bass, this is the snare. Let's get some uh, hat. Okay, the good thing about this drum machine also is just that you can uh, you can just change a bit the level, uh, the the decay or the um, the tone or uh, the pitch. Sometimes it depends on the sound that you're working on uh, of the of the sound. So I'm just gonna jam and yeah, just uh, stay with me. So now I'm going to create some audio tracks and I'm going to record straight into it. Of course, uh, I like the kick to be you know, on its own because I'm going to be compressing the kick maybe with the bass uh, to make the track a bit more punchy and the kick should always be on its own because it's one of the fundamental uh, for me um, sounds of the group. So, okay. Okay, so to make things quicker, what I'm going to do, because uh, I don't know if I already explained to you, yes, uh, the kick needs to be separate, but also I like the snare to be separate and I like the hats to be separate and any other percussion to be separate. This is just because, as you probably know, you're going to use different effects and different things. Uh, so, in order to make it quicker, I'm just going to record separate uh, the, the sound separately 
in, on the same track and then I'm just gonna edit and put it in different tracks and then we can start from there. Um, the way that I record, uh, you can see my mixer here, actually I forgot to tell you the make, it's a Soundcraft Series 400B. It's a very old mixer from the 80s, I think it's from 78 uh, and it's really good because for me this is what I like. I like uh, to have um, a rough analog sound uh, and this one uh, it has it completely and also like uh, the channels are you can separate the channels so you know it's still electronic inside so every channel can be taken out they can be fixed they can be replaced you can put a different channel from a different desk um, but it's, it's very uh, versatile like if you want to do crazy things I'm just using the mixer like normally um, and I'm recording everything uh, through the mixer uh, first, through a, a preamp, uh, which is uh, the Universal Audio 6176. Uh, I have a rack of uh, upward under the view, under the camera, which I can show you. And I'm just going to record everything through the mixer. Uh, and this is how I usually work. And then it gives a bit of analog um, fatness uh, to the sound. So it adds something and also a bit of noise and just like, you know, rough. And um, when, you know, when it comes to music and then, uh, I mean, my music is quite like uh, delicate in a way. So it needs that bit of, uh, you know, analog sound, I think is a good combination. Um, so, yeah, so what I do, I just, uh, I have the drum, uh, the drum machine later, it, uh, the TR8 coming from channel number two, you probably don't see that. I'm just gonna route it to the um, group three and four, and I'm just gonna record. So stay with me. First of all, I need to check the levels. Okay, of course, yeah. Levels is good, but it needs to be mono because it's a kick. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm just gonna play a bit with the drum machines because you, you know the more you play the more and, and you're recording and the more uh, crazy stuff you can obtain after and maybe you use them maybe you don't so but it's always good to just you know, jam and Continue with the snare. Okay, that was a bit weird. Uh, and then we do uh, the hats. Okay. Um, I like to record the drums always dry because I think it's really important to keep the drums clean and then add something to it later if you need to. Uh, I mean, effects wise. Okay, so now I'm just going to start editing. Obviously, I need to create one, two, another three tracks. One is going to be the snare, one is going to be the hat. And I'm just going, unfortunately Logic, there is a, sometimes when you record, um, it eats a bit of your, 
of your sound. So you need to be careful and really start from the beginning of the sound, go back, to move. It's to do with the latency. Um, so I guess this is where the kick will start. So now, because I've recorded everything on the same channel, obviously everything is on time now. And this is also quicker to do. Just record on one channel the drums, and then you just don't need to to move the the sound, you know, to the beginning for each sound. Okay, so I'm just going to put output here. I will mute the the drums on the desk. Okay, so okay, that's. We have um, this one, which we don't need because it's just all of them together. So I'm just going to kick, I guess it's up to there. No, yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is where the snare starts. So we'll take the snare to, to the bottom. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, let's make the window smaller. Okay, so now. So I will uh, rename which, this region and snare, and then I think, so tell me this, uh, from here we have the, the hats, so I'm just going to rename this to hat, okay, and that's it. So now we have to put the output on each channel. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep the crazy beats for later. So like, I'm just gonna make a simple um, beat now. Actually, that was nice. So see, there's um, all stuff that you can actually use after. Okay, so let's move this here. And let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, and let's move the hat. So sometimes you can just jam with it. Okay, that's better. Okay, so we have a bit here now, so I'm just going to loop this uh, part and I want to add some, oops, sorry, some uh, Tempest uh, sounds um, to it. So let's see what it, what it is. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add uh, some sounds from the Tempest. Um, obviously, you, you won't see me again for a while. Uh, let's just move this uh, sorry, around. Okay. Just going to put 
it's somewhere there and um no. I'm just going to make sure that this so always uh when you need to snap uh the sound always make sure that you're on, on bar if you need to then repeat the sound after so yeah oh there you go that's not on bar okay so I'm just gonna move this sound around and make a longer loop so that it's easier for me to work okay so this is obviously like it's just gonna be recording for a while uh okay all right then So what I'm gonna do in this because obviously we have our ba base of the group which is here, which is in, uh, in the TRA that I recorded. I'm just gonna record the tempest as one thing um, because it's just an it's adding stuff to it. So um, and then I can just you know do something crazy with it. But let's see. So I'm just going to. I'm gonna keep it in stereo. Okay, so again, three and four. The level is fine. Okay, let's record. Okay, that's enough. Uh, so this is just stuff in, you know we have uh, to add to the groove, but let's see where and what are we gonna use it for. So I guess uh, in order to make sure that it's all on time, just we go back. Um, this is the first. Uh, we need to change bar to division. Is in this case smart because it's random. So whatever. Uh, logic is put in it um, and then we can just let's see Oops, up there. No. Uh, yeah. let's make it bigger okay. as you can see I'm very attached to my mouse I, <laughs> I don't use shortcuts I just like to make my life complicated <laughs> it's just uh, you get used to work in a certain way and then you just keep it that way okay so okay so i think that should be on time i would like that to be a little bit later so maybe to make a bit of a a groove so let's try and see if it works better this way I think you could go later again more late sometimes you kind of want to make drums loosen so that oh yeah that it's um yeah it makes you dance a little bit more Okay then, sorry, okay, this, let's do it. I think I was working with the, okay. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have a bit of groove, I would start by adding the sounds. Um, let, let me just, uh, let's 
edit better. So we have the bar, we need to put the bar, and then we just, uh, again, remember always to change the snap, but this is something you probably already know. Um, actually, let's not do this. I'd rather copy. I think it's much better not to use that loop because we might want to change things and it's just it just looks nicer to copy yeah okay so here we got the growth okay so let's put all the audio together at the beginning so that we don't get confused so I need this So now we have a lot of drums and um, that we can use, and also we have all the stuff that I jammed with with the TR08 earlier on, which is at the end of the track, and then we're gonna use it later. We're just gonna add it to, we're gonna be doing a bit of editing. Um, I would, for the next sound, I would use the minimal. Uh, I'm going to use the Arturia uh, B-Step Pro for this because I, I want to use the Minimook now as a base uh, and I want to use the Arturia so that I will um, use the sequencer instead of playing the bass just because it sounds wicked, you know, compared to just playing it. Um, so my Minimook on the desk, it's on channel 17 and 18. Now it sounds really dry, but we will add stuff, we will um, even make the drums sound better. I uh, just want to go through the, the recording process first, uh, at least to, to have some sounds, and then we can start to mix it, and then we can add stuff, and, and build the track like if it was, I always think of a track like uh, of a painting, like when you start painting something, and then you have something that doesn't make any sense, and then at the end it's and adding layers or and then it becomes the, the picture comes out uh, but it only comes out in the last few moments of your track process the writing process okay so okay let's start from the beginning Actually, what I would do is I might just he, uh, record um, the sequence from the sequencer and uh, keep it in there, or maybe not. 
Or maybe let's just keep it this way. Yeah. Uh, it's just because uh, it's nice when you have some sound like this to when you record it in, you can just play around with the filters and, but it, you know, make it make it move, make the sound move, but it's a bit too early to do that, in my opinion, because we don't know what we're going to add to the track. So I will keep the sound here, uh, but I will copy it in, yeah. The reason why I'm copying it in is because I might be using a sequence over something else, so at least we have this, you know. Okay, let's record. So again, let's oh cancel. Uh, let's keep the bar. Oh yes, we are okay. Keep. So now we can. Uh, okay. Okay, since I'm using the Minimook to um, uh, control the Prophet, you will hear the Minimook uh, will start to the same notes as the Prophet, but forget it, it's not going to happen after, it's just the process of uh, recording. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna check. Yeah. 
window um, and sometimes it's nice as you can see like obviously when you play live uh, the instrument is never on you know it's exactly on time uh, but I like to leave it this way like I you know if it was like a drums uh, if it was like percussions drums a drum machine you know I would definitely put it on time uh, not definitely like the kick. I mean, the kick will definitely be on time, and the snare needs to kind of be on time. But for everything else, it's nice to kind of leave them like losing because it's just gonna create that live element to the track and uh, spontaneous. But this, I would just change the level of this one that is the uh, it's green, uh, just because. I don't know if you notice when you play, it's a bit lower compared to the other notes, and I, I don't like that. I think it's uh, better to keep them all at the same level, uh, approximately the same level. Don't have to be exactly the same level, but. Okay. So I kind of I really like this sound. Uh, I just want to try and put some effects on it uh, on the prophet, uh, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. Um, but I will try. So just bear bear with me. I'll be back. sometimes to use I know that uh, like the prophet for instance is it has uh, it has its own effects uh, and it's good for live uh, but sometimes it's nice also to use the effects of the of the machines uh, I just like them especially the prophet has really nice effects um, okay so now that we have the prophet and the mini moog we have a bit of music so I would just start by doing a, an, a little arrangement of the track um, and then we can build it from there so okay. so obviously the prophet is like the last sound and you can hear that it's not like the tr the main sound of the track okay so it's kind of it needs to come later so I will just uh, move this later uh, yeah, let's leave it there for now. So, and also with the Tempest, same thing. I'm going to mute it here and here. And maybe start with this kick and snare. I don't know. Let's try. Okay, I'm not sure about this now, let's see. Sorry, let's start. Yeah, let's start with the snare. Okay. Yeah. 
really important when you write a track that you do listen to and I, I listen to my track like thousands of times. Okay, so it makes sense uh, now. Um, I mean, it's still really raw. Like, I'm sorry, we're still working with, you know, I always have a, I'm always in a hurry when I'm making music. But uh, it's good to take steps. And if you start adding um, effects or dynamics too early, you can really damage the track. So I like to work um, as raw well, as long as possible with the raw sound. Okay, so now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of editing. Uh, I like that rolling snare. Where is it? Uh, there. Okay, so let's use all of this. Um, I will just put it... Okay. So it's nice that you start by doing things like this, uh, adding uh, changes and like uh, crazy things at the beginning, because then once you get in, you know, like you build the track, you know, like you're you're building the track, and you, the more you add at the beginning, the more you develop the track. If you if you if you kind of scare of doing things. That's what I think. Then the track will be really dull. So like you have to start early to just be as crazy as you can and just add stuff and and then maybe take them out after. You know, sometimes I end up having too much stuff on my in my tracks and then I I have to take out or maybe I just don't use the track at all because I got completely confused. Um, okay, so I will put it there. Okay, so this one. Let's. Put it here and see how it sounds if we make a space there. Okay. Let's just uh, cut it there. Actually, let's just copy this one back. No, let's cut it there, sorry. And let's listen. I was hoping that it would work uh, after the bar. But... Could, it's not too bad, but uh, we can use this again uh, later. So, voila, uh, I would do it there. Okay, so let's use it. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> 
would do is um if you can hear here this gap uh, there's a little gap here and there's a little gap here so like this is how I built my trucks let's uh, fill the gap with uh, maybe uh, something crazy from the snare that we created before so let's listen carefully to this, the, the snare sorry the kick that we created before it's you need a lot of patience to write the music as you probably know uh, but it's really, really need to listen a lot to what you That's nice. Okay, so let's um, cut. Oh no, still on. Okay, so let's put uh, divisions and divisions is really good when you have to. Oh, no. When you have to um, uh, divide by the, the division, so you have uh, the smart. You can cut anywhere. Bar is on the bar, beat is on the beat, divisions, then you have the tricks, the frame, the, the, like you're going from the bigger to the smaller. So let's do it here. Okay, that's the division there. Okay, cool. Uh, so this one, I will try and put it in that gap that I was talk talking about. Um, mm hmm. The first gap is here. Let's listen. Uh, wait. Take this out. Okay. <laughs> Later, actually, let's uh, color this. Um, let's color this in a different color, just because so that we know that this is the the kick. Oh. Actually, not. This is not. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, let's do it again. So take this out. I've deleted the wrong one. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Uh, I will move it. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but let's try. Okay, so yellow, let's put this in yellow and then we repeat these in the other part, which is this one. Oh god, I know I am not bar. Alright. Okay. okay, so what I'm gonna do later now I have this idea but I don't want to do it now. Is I gonna uh, when this is this rolling happening I will probably use an effect to announce the rolling so I maybe uh, reverb or um, or a delay, I don't know, let's see. So uh, last thing that I want to do that I heard before and I really liked it is like another rolling from the hat that we used. So let's just mute this one and uh, let's solo the, I really like that. Uh, I don't know why these are divided, let's merge them again. Okay, so I think it's more Okay, there. Uh, let's put this there. Yeah. I mean, this is all personal choices. I'm just spending a bunch of time doing this, but I think it's important to 
do you have something to, that, you, that you can work after with you know sorry okay so let's try and see what it sounds like all together <laughs> Okay, so me, I I don't like this. So now that I'm listening to them together, so I'm just going to put a normal snare. Okay, so this could be easily a loop. Uh, I am going to take this out also. So this is what I do. I put uh, stuff, I add stuff, and then I take them out. Uh, <laughs> but when you listen to uh, all the things together, they, they start to change meaning, you know, like the, the sound of them all together, then you know when it's right and when it's not. Uh, so, and this also, I would like, to actually uh, I have to do this cool okay and just yep just all right I'm just putting the snare back to normal for that part. Oh, okay, so let's try one last thing. Okay. Oh, okay, let's put this there and see how it sounds. Okay, I think this is nice. Uh, actually, this uh, is a loop for me. So, um, I think once it... So, we're going to start like slower uh the beginning. So, and then once it gets to here... This should be repeating uh, a lot. So I'm just going to cut this here. And actually, let's just put the, the bar again in order not to make any sample mistakes. All right, so. Let's listen from the beginning. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to play a bit with the um, with the mini mook to um, to uh, give a bit of uh, movement and see, and then we maybe we can record this as well. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's uh, move this uh, a bit further down. We might be using it after. Uh, what I want to do now is um, record uh, the mini MOOC. So let's save it and okay, let's create an audio track. Um, this is bass sound, so I will um, uh, use the mono uh, input. Bass. Okay, so uh, I will again address this to three and four. Let's see the levels. Going to route this um, to the universal audio uh, preamp, um, and I'll be back. In the meantime, I can uh, just uh, let the track play for you guys. record the sound in now and um, and play with it just want to check the level to record. Bye. 
Okay, so now that we have uh, our mini MOOC, just gonna put it on time, and we can uh, then record the profit, and we can start playing with in the box a bit, and then let's see how much time we have, and and you know we have a lot of other stuff to add, but at least we can uh, start to see the track taking form. So again. Let's take the smart to put this on time. Uh, it's not too bad. All right. Uh, maybe there. Okay. Let's go and see. Okay, so let's take this and let's listen to it. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Okay, sounds good. Okay, perfect. So let's now uh, record the profit, which was there. There's a lot of noise coming from somewhere. It's my mic. <laughs> okay, so the profit is here. And so when you when we listen to the the track together, I think let's not go back from the beginning. Let's just listen from here just to get an idea. I should be from here. It should be fine because I completely forgot about the sound. Perfect. That sounds really nice. Reminds me of the nineties. The oops, sorry. Okay, so let's uh, make this. Oh, I like the fact that it, there it's a bit random rather than repeating every. Well, let's try anyway. So I want to record more than just uh, once because I want to exactly do the same thing. So I will play with the sound. Uh, yeah, I will play with the sound. So okay. <laughs> Could be a break, you see. So let's do something. Let's just put this from the beginning um, because we don't want to win that break. That was a great break. And then I can just play. So I'm going to record the first one like it is now, and then the others I'm just going to play around and see if I can come up with something special or. 
Okay, no, I don't. So, okay, so I need to create an audio track again. Input three and four. I am not. Uh, sorry. Um, I'm not so keen to pre-amplify this one because uh, I'm scared I'm just gonna push it too much and I like to keep it um, smooth so I'm not gonna put it for the pre-amplifier and uh, I'm just going to record it straight so. mm -hmm. Stereo I like the effect on the Okay. Ready. Okay, I'm going to do this again. Okay, so I should have kept the, um, the loop longer so that I could have uh, recorded the end uh, of the tale of the prophet, but actually it might be nice to also have it that it stops suddenly. I think we just have to um, try things. Oh, sorry guys, uh, I lost it. There, okay. So, Again, I'm just going to put it on time. Um, uh -huh. okay. okay, sometimes, yeah, that's not right. It's always uh, hard sometimes to understand the beginning of the sound, but I'm gonna try this one because in theory it should be there or there, but I me mean, I like to to start when the waves start to move up. Uh, but I might be wrong. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna silent this. This was the 
it's the perfect uh, sequencer that started to play. So let's go into the sound and just silence this. Okay. As you can see, there is a bit of uh, noise uh, recorded, but this is the, um, I think it's to do with the effect. Okay, let me just, I just want to check the beginning of the second um, time that he's playing. Really? Mm. Oh no. Okay, no, 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 I don't know what it did there. Okay. I want to try and move it a bit more um, and see if this is starting from the uh, the right place because it seems to me that it's not in the right place there. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, I am. Uh, I need to listen to it several times to understand if it's okay or not. Sometimes it's a bit of things, a bit of the time. So I'm just gonna leave it there. And now that we have um, all of these sounds, I'm gonna start playing a bit on my laptop. All right then. This can come later. Right. Okay, so now that we have uh, the um, a bit of sounds, uh, I will start to do a little bit of mixing what I usually like to do is to um, to use the bass as uh, direct uh, the sounds to certain bass so I will create big, some groups um, so I'm using the bass as groups but I'm also using the bass as sends so I will use some sends uh, some bass for sends and some bass for groups I will um, Group. Uh, how am I going to group the music? Is uh, the kick will uh, remain um, alone and the snare, the hats, and in this case the tempest, because they're all like half the snares. They will go in the same bus, and then the prophet uh, and the minimook probably because this minimook, this bass is acting more as a acid line rather than a bass, um, will go together. And then what I can, you know, depending on, of course, on what you want to do, uh, I can just uh, uh, apply effects on on the on the groups rather than on every single uh, sound. This way, you just create, uh, you attach everything together, like all the sounds together, and it's really nice. It sounds much better 
then just like applying different um, uh, effects to different sounds. But also, if there is a break and you want to um, automate this, the effects, then you know you can go really big with all the sounds. And you know it's up to you really. But uh, I'm gonna do it this way. I think it, it will tie up everything together. We're still in early stages of the track. I mean, like we only have like one, two, three. By six sounds. But, I mean, I wouldn't do a track that had would have more than 10, 15 channels because otherwise they tend to be too much, um, too confusing. You don't need so many sounds. Uh, you just need to tie them up together and just use effects and and make them play between each other. And so, okay, let's start. So I'm gonna just pass. Um, what I'm gonna use, what I usually do is, uh, I use five from five. It's the group pass, and then uh, sorry, from six, and then the first five are uh, effects or dynamics. So I'm gonna start from bus six, and I will call this highs, and so I will put the snare, the hat. The Tempest, yeah, and then this will go, the Prophet will go to bus 7 and the Mini Mook 2. I mean, I'll try to do the Mini Mook in bus 7, but if I see maybe it won't, won't, it won't be good for bus 7, maybe it will be good as a bait. So this is, uh, let's say, Melodies. Okay, and then uh, let's see what happens. So, if I want to add some reverb to this, bus, okay, so this would include the snare and this, the hats and the tempest in, in this. Um, uh, okay, so I'm just going to loop uh, a part where all of them are playing together. And uh, I'm using a lot of wave, wave plugins. Um, I really, really like them. Uh, there's also other plugins that I'm using that it's more like sound toys. I love the fab filters. Uh, I only have the timeless for now. I don't know if the other one has disappeared. Um, but yeah, let's just go with waves. Um, so I just need really like a, a, a bit of reverb on the hats, on the tempest and the snare. And it might work, it might not work, but usually it's good to have a bit of space. Uh, reverb gives you a lot of space and then, and it makes things a bit further away from you. Uh, so, you know, when you write a track for me, it's really important to create spaces. So like, uh, if you have everything, imagine if you are um, in a room and everything is this, in the same place, obviously, you know, they're all attached to each other. You have all this other space around you that you can use. So it's good to to, cr to, to move the sounds and, you know, around the space. And how do you do that? You can use um, uh, effects. Uh, you can use panning uh, and... Uh, so the reverb, I really like the Renaissance um, plugins. So I'm just gonna go there. I'm not sure what is happening. Just one second. Okay, let's just wait for this. Another really good uh, reverb plugin is the uh, True Verb. Okay. Sorry, guys. Something is wrong.
Okay, so, oop là. Let me down. Okay, excuse me. Okay, let's do it again. Audio units. Uh, we wanted the... Renaissance. I don't know how to say that name. Uh, the Waves plugins for me, they're, they're really, really good. They're, they're one of the best. Uh, you can really get uh, some great stuff uh, to replace the outboard. Of course, they sound really, really good. And it's it's great to to get them if you have a chance. You know, they're not even too expensive. Now they're doing, you know, like a lot of uh, offers and discounts. So just go on their website. But they kind of get addictive as well because you know, then you see another one, you're like, oh, I like this one, oh, I wanted this one, and you, at the end you get them all. Um, so this is getting there. Okay. Okay, another one. There. Okay, so obviously we're gonna use the river in stereo. Even okay. Perfect. So we're just going to uh, uh Do, I'm just going to EQ the sound a bit because sometimes even if you put the level down if if, if there's a sound that bothers you and if, even if you put the level down sometimes all you need to do is just EQ in it um, okay okay perfect so uh, um, I will try and EQ this sound and then uh, but after this I want to I think what it needs for the hats to and the um, snare and the tempest to come up uh, out is um, maybe a little bit of compression before the reverb just because uh, when you you sometimes things get uh, you know they, they, um, they hide kind of and I think um, a bit of compressor will uh, take them out. Um, sorry, my my you know explanations. I'm not really good at explaining things, but I mean like with words. I mean because English is not my language, main language. But um, I hope you understand. Uh, so 
okay so what is it? oh yeah so the the eq that i want to use uh there is another wave uh plugin uh it's called the f6 rta uh there are two versions uh this one is the one i'm using because here you can you you can see um You can really, uh, yes, this, yeah, okay, cool. You can see what you're doing. Uh, so let's listen to this sound. I think what bothers me is more the high frequency of the sound. Sometimes it's, it's just that really high frequency. Um, usually, like above uh, maybe 11k, 10k, you want to take you know a bit down because uh, it can really create that uh, annoying uh, frequency in your ear. So I like to take this down. So. It's just a very tiny bit, but it's so important. Also, I would personally take out the bass here because we don't need it. And it's just gonna make space for other uh, frequencies and other sounds. I, um, I think it's really important to clean uh, with, the, with the EQ. Uh, not, you don't have, don't, don't have to kill the sound, but in this case we're not killing the sound because most of the sound is in the middle, uh, the frequencies that we need. I will keep it there. Yeah, maybe change the. Yeah, yeah more like uh, extreme. Okay, cool. So let's listen together with the other sounds. This is something that. This, this is something that you know, is good to do with uh, a lot of other sound, uh, a lot of uh, sounds. So the snare, for instance, uh, I still think it's kind of nice because it's full. It's a bit. Maybe I just need to put the level down on this one because um, I like the fact that it's a, it has a lot of low frequencies. Since we are writing this track, that is coming out a bit like old school uh, acid. Uh, reminds me, as I said before, of the 90s, I don't know why. Uh, reminds me of some music that I used to listen when I moved to the UK. Um, they, the snare, like, in some of these tracks, the snare is always really full and has a lot of ba uh, uh, bass frequency, so I'm just going to keep it there. And let's see if... actually doing more than just one thing when it's rolling. Okay, cool. I need to fix this. I, I think I've picked up the, the worst uh, sound uh, of out of all the things that are uh, the ones that I've uh, recorded. So I'm just going to copy Ashley out with it. Okay, it's just there. I need from here. Just gonna try different ones. Um, this I definitely don't like this one. So I'm just gonna copy this across. Okay. And voila. Yeah. 
Okay, this is not the ones that we're looking for. I think I need to use the first one and the second one for now because I I like I always like the bass the basic uh, the more bass sound. So I'm just not I'm gonna keep this somewhere here and I'm just gonna take this and just that. okay and then copy it okay yeah, okay cool so let's go back to the snare hats and tempest. I'm new to the tempest because why? I don't remember. Okay, let's put a, a little compressor here and see if that's gonna bring the bring them up. Bring, my, bring them out a bit. Uh what I'd like to use it's uh again the waves. The this one, the the C4. That's a good compressor. Uh -huh. We bringing like the it's bringing it a little bit up and it's tightening it up a bit uh, I still I think this snare is losing a bit of uh, color yeah definitely but in the long run in, when when you have so many sounds it's it's gonna be good at the end because it's coming out. Uh, it's gonna come out a bit of the blend of sound. So let's leave it. Okay. So we might want to put this down. Okay, what I would like to try with the hats is to put like a bit of delay on as well. And I like to try the stereo delay. Let's try this. I mean, it's, it's good to use the logic one because like when you have to... I mean, unless you have like a, a analog delay, it's it's good enough to use the Logic one. I mean, Logic has really good um, uh, uh, plugins. So I would just uh, let's try this. Uh, I would do it dotted. This is a bit too much. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Let's link the stair.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna I need to put the level a little bit down. I don't know where it Okay. are going to work on on the profit and the mini MOOC and let's treat it as a synth I mean as a synth keyboard yes sorry I heard the noise okay so profit we are here um, I would for these two, I would try to put uh, a little bit of compression. Actually, let's go to the Waves plugins and let's see what we have because um, what we can use is uh, sorry guys i'm just looking for it no okay let's go no let's let's use the compressor okay let's just use the again the same compression um there and this time we'll be seeing in uh, and stereo Where is it? Sorry, guys. I lost it again. There. Okay, cool. Um, some uh, if you if you look at the settings of the compressor, there is some brilliant uh, settings that have been created um, from amazing uh, by amazing uh, our, um uh, engineers. Um, I'm not really familiar with them, but I, I know that they're really good because I've been told so. So maybe I'm not even sure this is actually work. Okay, so let's um, let's just do our own thing. <laughs> Compress a bit. Uh, if you take 
with um, yeah, it sounds much better. Uh, so this way we, we are taking out the, the, the down the low frequencies. We're compressing a bit more. Okay, definitely, it's definitely better. Let's listen all together. As you can hear, like all the sounds a little bit uh, out, like up now. Just playing with the levels here. Again, Maybe I've taken too much bass from the the mini MOOC, so I'm just going to mute this for a second. No, I think it's okay. It's just that we are in a strange loop. Uh, let's try somewhere where there's more bass in that sound, like there, the beginning. Yeah, much better. Okay, so. I'm just gonna send, uh, as I said, the first five passes. I was gonna use it for um, for um, effects. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a reverb here so that everyone can use. Uh, and this way, what you do, you're just making things bigger because you are um, you are not using the reverb on the channel but you are using it on a different channel so you can hear the original sound and you can also hear the reverb this is going to make things bigger and is uh, it's going to make things more clear as well so i think it's always better to um, to root the reverb to another bass or the, uh, any effect sorry okay so this time i'm going to use the true verb i I think sometimes it's nice to use the same reverb in the track uh, and then, you know, makes sense really, but I'm going to try the, the true verb. Uh, Reminds me of 
I know that it's, a, it's got its own effects on it, but I would put the reverb that it's on the minimum bass just because it will tie them together in a way. So let's just listen. Definitely. I like the bass on this sound, so I'm just gonna leave it for now, like Um, we need to balance the levels between the two. I hope I'm not too slow for you guys, <laughs> but this is my the way that I actually make music. But it's it's sometimes I can make a track like in uh, in three hours. I've done this before. Like, is it true? It's made in like two three hours with the vocals and everything because you really get into the track, especially on full moon. It's amazing. But then sometimes uh, you get kind of stuck. But, you know, like me, I like to take, you know, my time to think and listen. And but sometimes you don't have, you're so into it that you don't even have time to think or listen. Of course, now I'm explaining what I'm doing. But uh, my way of working is really pretty simple. It's just like listen, 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 listen. It's, really, it's so important for me to listen back, you know. So I'm just going to listen from here so that I can listen to the two. Um, levels Let's go, 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 let's go
They are both too loud, uh, the minimum and the profit. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it down on under master, just going to put it three and four down, but that's not going to put down the effect. So, it's just going to put down the, the um, output of both. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of these two because I don't like them. They're too high. Uh, and I'll just be it up. <laughs> I think the minimum needs to come up and the profit needs to stay <laughs> Okay, more or less. Okay, so okay, so now we have. Um, let's see how. I always check um, the time. Okay, we have a two minutes track. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy all of this across. So I'm going to move this more further down. We might need to use it at one point. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm going to copy this for another, I'm going to double it basically so that we can continue We can continue um, the the building of the structure of the track. Okay. Um, just literally going to copy them. Yeah. Okay. So since we we are still uh, we have still some uh, mini MOOC, I'm just going to keep it. There and I'm going to start it from the beginning again. And the profit, I will do it separate. Okay, so let's just copy this across and all right, perfect. So here we wanted to have the break, if I remember well. Will be here. I don't remember, but okay. Let's let's listen to to that later. Um, I think it was this one. Let's do it now, actually. <laughs> Okay, and then we can just have a break there. I would, what I would do here, uh, let's listen again. Yeah, I will put the minimal kit there, and I would. I'm not sure if it's an automation thing or 
it's a filter thing let's try i would let him the mini move come back but uh very very slowly like slowly uh, fading or i don't know yet let's listen <laughs> No, okay. First of all, it's the wrong. Uh, I think I want to put. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think I want to put the beginning. So the reason why is because the beginning. I think it's less. It's. Uh, this one. This one here. Okay. I just need it to be more um, dark. Do I will move this uh, across somewhere there, and I will just create this. I don't know, just slice of it, and okay. let's see what happens. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, seems all right. Okay, I think the automation is to be different. Okay. Here we don't need this. I'm just gonna mute this one and use it later. Um okay, so let's try and put this here. I would personally change the track completely here. Uh but let's see. Okay, let's just um try and reput the tempest there. Tempest there. See, the way that I work is a lot with structure and try things and and change them, put things back. It's just that um, it's better uh, for my vision. Like sometimes I have one vision and then I have another, another vision. Um, I just stretch something. <laughs> uh, but um, by listening to different things, um, you you manage to to change your vision sometimes and sometimes it's much better you know so i think i've stretched something let's do add it and do oh no it's okay okay so um, okay sorry i think the automation needs to change there yeah it went down again Okay, so just uh, be patient. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I think we can listen from the beginning now. Ready to 
the snare of the highs a bit less uh, the snare sorry the reverb of the high less big <laughs> I think it's time for the bass. Um, so, 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 I think I'm going to go to the virus B, uh, which is okay. Oh, sorry, it's too loud. I'm just gonna. Um, find actually I need to kind of find the sound in the meantime I'm going to uh, play the track for you so that you can listen to the track but I need to kind of find the sound that I'm looking for which is a very low bass um, big drum and bassy kind of sound yeah Got on the metrics window um, of this because I know that it was completely out of time, and as I said before, I think it's really important that the bass, especially for a track like this, it's on time. And all oh, sorry, uh, so you go onto the time quantize classic section and you press 16, no, 116, not because this is what you what we need, and Let's just listen to the um, the velocity. I think uh, I would just use one of these. Um, I don't think this is the right sound, by the way. But let's just try. Um, hmm. 
Uh, let's just uh, try different sounds now. Let's just look for the sound. All right. Um, let's just do this. Okay. record this in um, uh, yeah okay uh, it's the variety base fifteen okay so again gonna read it Three and four. Um, let's see the levels. I'm gonna use it as a mono. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Something happened. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm just going to root this to the preamp. I think it's it's a good one to record from my preamp. One second. Let's try. Okay, so Uh, going for the preamp uh, and I will just uh, record again okay 
let's again check the, the level. It's going through different plays now. Okay, cool. Let's do it. And then I'm going to play with it as well. So I'm just going to try different uh, colors and Let's see what works better. Okay, I think uh, it's enough. I, I don't want to go too crazy with this because um, it's a bass and since the minimal gets moving already, um, I think I want to keep it simple. So let's see again um, what the latency did to us. I'm going to save it. Um, All right, we have slightly. Let's see if it's the right one. It's always so annoying that logic doesn't. You always have to do this, and there is certain way that you can try to avoid this, but they don't work. <laughs> so. Think more or less. If it's not perfect, we will be able to hear it at the end of the track when everything is out of time. Um, yeah. Okay, so I am going to listen back now. Let's listen back. I'm just going to use the virus. Um, okay. And let's add an output here. <laughs> So I like this. Okay, I want to listen to it alone because I want I want to find the right one. Okay, I think this too. Um, there is something that I like in this bit. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to lose this one in case I need it later. I will create a double and mute it so that we have it. And uh, you never know. Again, I don't throw anything away because I know that I might be able to use it later. Maybe not. But at least you don't go bad, you know, you don't just regret something. It's better not, you know, to not regret. Okay, now this one uh, has been cut 
there. So let's do this and then we can go back to bar and let's just copy this across and let's see if it works now that we have the base we can um, we can um, compress it together with the, um, the kick and let's see what works best what kind of compression we want to give it um, so I like to put the kick and bass next to each other, um, you know, I have a certain order that I put stuff, like I always put the kick, the, the bass, then the snare, the hats, and percussion, and then just the, um, the um, sound pads, keys, uh, violins, or whatever. Um, okay, so... guys I forgot okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm not sure about this base anymore but um, we this is what we have and we're just gonna use it for now um, I'm just going to so this is kick base compressor and I like to use the again C4 in this one but it's gonna be mono so let's go back to the waves and here oh no sorry i did again sir okay so let's go back waves and mono okay. oh we need to put the bus in mono first oh god Again, sorry, that was a mistake. C4, mono. perfect. Okay, so. Uh, let's put the kick and the bay. Oops. Um, here so obviously um, we oh yes yeah, sorry okay we want no what did I do sorry guys uh okay this yeah uh we want us um I think it's low attack and a fast release. So let's see. So we need to start everything from the beginning.
Okay, I'm just trying different things. Uh, Recipitive. Um, uh, distortion going on. compression that I did but uh, I would want uh, maybe more output It's okay, but it's a bit for maybe extreme. try and uh, change something on the bass because I, I don't really like it so um, what I'm going to do uh, but this might really completely make it you know it's wrong but I'm gonna try something which I'm not sure is gonna work but I'm gonna try um, it's the this plugin called Fab filter um the timeless too uh it's nice sometimes it just gives a bit of color to to um, to stuff uh i'm not sure it's gonna work it's it's kind of dubby so but let's try let's try <laughs> Actually, that was not too bad. This is also nice. No. Missing all together. So 
I think um, I think after this um, again I'm not really sure with this space I'm just spending so much time on this space but it's part of making a track sometimes you just uh, spend time and, and hours on one sound and then it's you know I always say if it's taking too long just get rid of it yeah. Okay, so just I'm just gonna try something else, and if I don't like it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but um, I'm going to use the EQ, uh, the channel EQ of um, uh, Logic because for uh, it's actually the, the newest is not too bad. The the last one. Uh, I just want to try and see if I can get rid of the some frequencies of this bass and if it will sound better. Okay, so we don't not like this space. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, but at least we tried to um, to use uh, some plugins. Uh, I, will, I show you the timeless. Uh, I've used um, the. I show you how to do the kick uh, and bass um, bass compression. Um, I think uh, maybe we'll do the bass next time. Uh, just because uh, for me, bass is one of the things that takes the most time, um, and I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. So, I've, I, since I don't want to waste any time, uh, I'd rather do it the next time. Um, so, let's listen again and think. something so where are we uh, here exactly there <laughs> I like this and so that's the kind of bass that I'm looking for but without the to -wah 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 -wah. so I'm aiming to um, do like a, a long uh, subby bass like in drum bass so I'm just going to remember that um, I could copy and paste this one, but I don't like the bubbly uh, sound on top. Uh, I just really need the, the the bottom, and even if I EQ it, I'll probably ruin it. So let's just carry on with something else. Uh, what I did in the meantime, while you were doing this, I um, listened to the track back. Um, I've uh, copied the um, the melody of the the uh, ACD mini MOOC. Actually, let me put this back into the profit because I think it's nice to have a double a double of this um, sound so let's see what it sounds like I'm gonna have to find the sound first but it's really important to double sounds 
and also it could be just the old sound it could be just a, uh, a stab uh, or uh, of, the, of the melody so let's Let's try again.
Okay, so now I've recorded this. We can. The sound is like one side is uh, more prominent than the other, but it's just the way the sound is. So, um, and we will put it on time again, which is going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> but let's try. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this because the sound is not so obvious. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Okay, not sure. Where is the sound starting? So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go further down the sound, trying to find the... Yeah, I think it's that. That's it. No. Okay, let's just cut here and move this across. All right, now... I think this is it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Nearly. Okay, so I think the first bit is we need to cancel it because delete it because it was uh, the sequencer of the prophet. So let's. Um, Okay, this is tricky, but let's see if it's, this is the right one. Yeah. Still not perfect, but... Um, Okay, let's try again. Yeah. Okay, well, it's more or less is that I can spend all my night just uh, putting on time. It's, it's a weird sound, so it's really hard to find uh, the right spot, but I'll fix this. More or less. We're a bit over the... No, it's okay, we can handle it. So I just like this sound, I think it's crazy and it's nice to have. Um, let's leave it there and then uh, we can use it later. Um, so let's uh, carry on with our research. Uh, Of course, I forgot. Yeah, so we need to get rid of this way. All right. going to add this as well but first I'm going to try and take the effect that it has on it has like a, fa a phaser and it's just bothering I want to see if it's better without or maybe not it's more 
personally prefer it uh, dry um, okay so I'm just going to record this in it's not gonna take long um, so it's gonna be perfect night two. two okay I like to keep always the same names uh, in every shock all the sounds have the same names um, gonna start recording I'm going to uh, increase the release of the sound so that it will make a noise it's gonna be like more like a noisy percussion and the release will be longer so um, it's good to do these things when in the break is coming or just to build it up So I'm just gonna save and copy this across again and uh, and this will add, I think it's even better than the sound that we did before. So okay. Okay again now we need to find the start.
this should be the right. I hope so. I'm just gonna put the volume down a bit because it's going on red. I like this sound even dry. Uh, it's crazy because it adds to the to the gonna fix that uh, okay I think so oh no let's try Let's go from here. <laughs> I think on this one, when it comes to this bit, the kick is too loud. Let's listen. Mm, let's listen with everything. I heard something was wrong. Yes, uh, it's this one. The 
at uh, Rolin. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to edit uh, the velocity. Oh. Uh, I'm going into the editor editor um, section, and I think this this one maybe. And change the uh, the gain. Yeah. Sorry, it's me. So okay, let's try. No, maybe one dB. Okay. Okay, let's try let's try this. Oh, there is nothing. Oh. <clears throat> okay. No. Okay, so function. Change gain. Again, let's try more. Okay, let's change. Yeah, much better. So now let's listen with everything else. Okay, I think um, it's a good start. We're kind of halfway through, maybe. Um, I think I'm gonna st we're gonna stop here. Um, I just wanna uh, rewind, not rewind, uh, um, summarize what we've done today. Um, okay, so we have recorded everything from the. Uh, our synthesizers. We started with the um, with the drum machines, and then we added some Moog, some uh, uh, some uh, Prophet, and we did a little arrangement. And we also um, have um, grouped the sounds by groups, so that the the highs with the highs, uh, the the scenes and the melodies and paths, which we don't have yet, but we will, uh, are in another group. And uh, also we try to record the bass and uh, use a bass compressor together with the kick, but we didn't like the bass, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I recorded some other noises. Um, right now, I think uh, what we will need to do uh, next time is uh, to find a good bass and um, and probably add some vocals and then finish the arrangement and maybe try and use some uh, also some um, virtual plugins uh, for sound um, for new sounds maybe to add double some some of the sounds to add some um, thickness to it um, so this is pretty much the way that I work I. I use a lot of again live uh, synths, live synthesizers. So I and I also I haven't uh, tried with you today because it's hard for me to show you how you know I use the outboard because you cannot actually see it because the camera is only pointing this way and also it's boring because you can't you know you can only see the screen of the um, of the logic and if I do something like this. I can record it in, but I won't be able to show you how I do it. So I, I thought maybe it was not needed, you know, today. So instead, I, I'd rather use some virtual uh, effects. Um, but this is pretty much the way I work. So it, it, it gets simpler. Um, next time, um, I, I'm going to clean this. I'm going to clean the project 
before and I'm, I'm just going to get rid of this bass and maybe going to find another bass and then next time we can start, we can just record the bass straight away uh, without having to lose time just trying to find the right melodies or... Uh, and then we can focus on um, mixing the track and uh, also with uh, the automation so that to to make have colors in the track and uh, changes and by using the same sounds but just using uh, effects and just adding some colors and some movement to the track. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, and yes, uh, if you have any questions, uh, sorry, any suggestion about the track that you want to tell me, I can, uh, you can, you know, write and uh, I can maybe, you know, uh, try to, to make you happy because since we are making this track together, it's nice to have the input of the other people. So um, yeah, I wish you a good night and next time will be next week um we'll come back here and we'll try and finish this track so good night and thank you for listening and for following this video and um see you next week